Well, today I'm going to be doing some pork chops. I'm going to be doing one with sweet ghost and one with sweet habanero barbecue sauce. I'm going to go ahead and sear the pork chops and then we're going to start brushing these on and letting that seal all through and around that pork chop for a good while. And then, of course, you can have some of this to dip it in in the end as well. Um, this is from the Mile High Guy of Barbecue channel. Uh, and I went ahead and bought these two because I really enjoy peppers. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me do some peppers. I've done jalapenos, I've done habaneros, I've even done some Carolina Reapers. I don't know if I've ever made a video. Uh, but uh, So I do like peppers and this just looks great. Sounds great and I think it's going to be great on some pork chops. So all I did was season them with my SPG all-purpose seasoning. You don't need to see that if you've watched any of my videos. You've seen me do it many times. And I'll do a video showing how I make that seasoning one day. But we're going to go ahead and get these pork chops. I'm going to put the ghost, sweet ghost on one. And I'm going to put the sweet habanero on the other. And Dolores, who's on keto, didn't want any. So she's just going to have one like that. Um, she's afraid of the carbs. And while she does in many of my videos cheat her keto, she said today's not a cheat day. Uh, she's pretty strict on it, but once in a while she will try something. Uh, so today she's going to do plain. I'm going to check out the other two. Uh, my kids, I'm sure, will enjoy that as well. Can't wait. We're going to cook these about three minutes, four minutes. Then I'm going to flip them, and then we're going to start using this... Uh, Mile High Gar barbecue sauce and seeing uh, how this all comes together. All right, it's been a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and flip these. Smells great. Then here we go. We're going to start with some sweet ghost. Open this up. A little plate here. I'm going to pour some of this in. Just like that. Oh, looks good. Look at that. Wow. It's got a good thickness to it. Not real runny. Not real thick. Just almost perfect. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and put this on the bottom. Well, remember the bottom is ghost. Then I got the sweet habanero, and we're gonna use a different plate for this one. Don't wanna mix it. And we're gonna put it on this other one here. That's the plain one. We're gonna leave that as is. This thing's getting hot, and I'm gonna put the lid on. Also, if you know anything about my channel, I always have issues, and the, the camera over there completely died. So we're going to go with this one. Uh, but we got them cooking now, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip them again in about three minutes. And I'm just going to keep doing this until they get done uh, to about 145 degrees, and then we're going to test them out and see how they look. They smell great. A matter of fact, let me test this uh, sauce. Hang on just one second. So I got me a little spoon here. And I'm going to try just a dash of this sweet ghost. Haven't tasted this yet. Just a little couple drops. Mm. That has got some good flavor. Wow, that has got some good flavor, let me tell you. That ghost, that's going to be hard to beat. Well, let's try the sweet habanero. And it's got a nice little kick on the throat, just a little bit. Let's try the sweet habanero. Just a drop. That goes, that's going to be hard to beat. Oh, man, that's good stuff. Let's try the, uh, this is the sweet habanero. It's definitely a difference. That's good too. 
I have to wait till the pork chop's done to give the final uh, winner here. I think I know which way I'm going, but we're going to check it out in a minute. Let's go ahead and check these, flip them. And I'm pretty sure it was ghost on the bottom, I hope. <laughs> I'll be watching this video back and say, well, we're going to have half half on each side. I think the ghost was on the bottom. And here, once again, we got a habanero coat this side. Let's put the lid on, then we'll check the temperature here in a minute and see how close we are. And I checked the temperature, and we're well above. We're... 175 we're a little hotter than we need to be by sure that one's one 155 155 on that one and that one is one over 160 so hotter than we need to be we're going to go ahead and take these off let them set for about five minutes and then we're going to go ahead and try them out and see how this uh barbecue sauce tastes how about that Got the ghost right here and the habanero right here on the back. So just real quick, uh, before we go ahead and test this out, welcome to the Oki Smoking Channel. My name is John and I want to go ahead and show you one more time. This uh, is the sweet habanero we're going to be testing here in a minute. And this is the sweet ghost. Now you can find both of these right on Mile High Guy Barbecue's YouTube channel in his About page if you'd be interested in trying them out. He's got a couple others as well. I just went for the pepper ones because that's just my MO and I wanted to check these out. So we're going to go in there and uh, see how it tastes. Okay, so we're going to cut two pieces out. This one's the habanero. few pieces there and this one is the ghost sweet ghost sweet habanero What's the heat index of these? I don't think they're that bad okay so which one do you want to try first ghost ghost Good with hot stuff, so we'll see how All right, tell me what you think. I'm gonna try it. Let me get a fork. Let's go together and cheers. It kind of builds a little bit on that kick, yeah. But it's got a real good flavor. Yeah, it's not too strong, it's not too mm -hmm. much. That was really good. That's super tender. Go ahead and try the habanero. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. more of an intense flavor, but it's like, oh, it's really good. The flavor. <laughs> yeah. So dip this in there. Uh, hold on. Though. If we want to. That's, that's actually good dip in the. Like now, this is. This was the ghost. All right, so ghost. So here's a little ghost sauce. Dip it in that. Be careful. See what right. you think. Flavoring. Yeah. Real sweet. You're going to go and try a piece. A the keto good. girl is going to try a piece. Hopefully, this doesn't have a whole lot now, of carbs. This time, I'm dipping the ghost in the actual ghost. That's the ghost. Yep. Dip that in that one for the ghost. Oh. Mm. No, it wasn't too bad. And that's what surprises me because I don't like hot stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But this has so much flavor. Oh, this is good. The kick builds up to mm -hmm. where it's like. Good. You guys lie. I'm like, I swallowed it and it's like bringing my, my throat. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a rough, rough part. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Though. It's good. It mm -hmm. is good. Well, unanimously, the uh, the sauce is is really good. It's fantastic. It's great. Uh, I will I'll be using it on chicken. Of uh, be good on ribs. 
wings. Got to do some wings with that. Um, it's got a nice little kick, not overpowering. If you don't like hot stuff, you'll probably be all right. It's got that, it's eatable, It's it, but it's got a real good flavor. So, um, winner. Man, you know, I, originally I thought the ghost pepper was the winner, and then, I, then, then we, the habanero, and then we did the habanero was ghost pepper and that may have been the best one <laughs> just a you know combo combination but we it's really good but i think i still sweet ghost i think is the winner uh by very little that they're both really good be sure and check out mile high barbecue but they're they're both really good so anyway see you in the next video guys see ya